Toby 2.0 introduces support for EPUB with Media Overlay. In this video, you can see the steps for creating EPUB book with Toby. Toby can now import text-only EPUB book for converting it into an EPUB audio media overlay, an existing EPUB 3 media overlay for updating it, and a standalone XHTML file for generating EPUB media overlay from it. Here we will import a text-only EPUB book for exporting it with Media Overlay. Click on File and then on Open Port on the menu or press Ctrl O. Toby opens a dialog box to let you browse for the required file. To open the EPUB book, simply select the file with .epub extension. Click on the Open button. Toby automatically extracts the project manifest file with .opf extension from the EPUB file, which is actually a compressed folder. Next time, when you want to open this project, directly select the file with .opf extension. Toby will then open a dialog box to select the audio format for the project. Choose the sampling rate for the project from the combo box. Check the checkbox stereo if you wish to use stereo channels in your project. Leave it unchecked for mono channel. To preserve the audio format used by the source publication, check the checkbox Preserve Source Format. In this case, Toby will override any selections made in this dialog by the audio format of the publication being imported. Recheck the selections made by you. Once selected, the audio format cannot be changed for the project. Click on the OK button. The textual and the graphical data in the selected EPUB has been imported and stored in the Toby project directory. If we had imported EPUB media overlay, the audio data would have been imported too. Here, it is important to point out that the basic structure of the EPUB book is different from that of the DAISY book. Generally, there are more than one text files, XHTML files in an EPUB book. Toby creates one project for each file of the EPUB book and all of them are enumerated in the XUK spine file. Therefore, a Toby project for EPUB book is a collection of sub-projects containing the textual, graphical and audio data required to create an EPUB media overlay. At one point of time, Toby will display data of single sub-project only. To work on another sub-project, you should invoke the Project Spine dialog by pressing Ctrl U. It displays the list of all the sub-projects of the current project. Select the required project from the list and press Enter to open it. You can also use the search bar over the list to find the required one quickly. Once you open a sub-project in Toby, it will be treated as any Toby project. You can fill in audio by live recording, importing existing audio file or by generating speech with TTS. Here I will import audio files in each of the sub-projects and synchronize it with the text. The details of the text and audio synchronization is explained in another video. Publishing EPUB book Now to publish this as an EPUB book with media overlay, all the sub-projects need to be exported and the metadata should be updated. This can be done by accessing the project spine. Since one of the sub-projects is open, I will press Ctrl U to open the spine. Otherwise, press Ctrl O and select the file with .xuk spine extension from the project directory. Editing metadata. To update the metadata of the book, click File, Open Import on the menu or press Ctrl O. Toby opens a dialog to browse for a file. Select the file with .xuk spine extension from your project directory and click on the OK button. Toby loads the project spine and opens the project spine dialog. Press Escape to close the dialog box. Please note that even if the application window does not display the usual project data, but the XUK spine file is opened in Toby. Once the project spine is loaded in Toby, you can update the book metadata by clicking Edit. Edit metadata on the menu or by pressing F11, which will invoke the metadata editor. To know more about editing metadata, please see the Toby manual. Exporting as EPUB To export the project as an EPUB 3 media overlay, press Ctrl U to launch the project spine dialog. Click on the Export Full EPUB button therein. 
Toby will open the export dialog enabling you to select the audio format for the exported book. Select the sampling rate from the combo box. If you wish to have stereo channels in the exported book, check the checkbox Stereo. Leave it unchecked for mono channel. To encode the exported audio files in MP3 format, click the checkbox Encode MP3. Click on OK button to start the export. Toby opens a dialog box to browse for a folder where the exported book will be stored. Select a folder from the tree view and press Enter. Toby will export the project as per EPUB specifications and store the exported book in the folder selected by you. For more on Toby, please visit Toby website www.daisy.org/toby. Thanks for watching.